I am going to talk about the uh, the recent topic on this uh, flexible antennas uh, design and fabrication uh, techniques of uh, this uh, the uh, the upcoming antenna. Actually, this is the most wanted uh, uh, antenna. Actually, the field of uh, this uh, flexible antenna is uh, uh, the witnessing and uh, this experimental growth due to this uh, demand for the wearable devices as well as the iot internet of things and the, and then point of care devices as well as the personalized uh, many platforms as well as 5g technology uh, and then wireless sensor networks as well as communication devices as well as smaller uh, from the uh, factor to name a uh, few so many things it is uh, uh, used because of the choice of this uh, non rigid antenna is application specific and uh, depends on the type of uh, uh, substrate and uh, materials are uh, used and uh, processing techniques or uh, different processing techniques and antenna performance and uh, this uh, surrounding uh, environment or uh, mm, uh, and also numeric uh, numerous uh, design uh, innovations and new materials and uh, the different material properties as well as uh, the integrating fabrication methods and uh, niche applications because the availability of the high speed and uh, massive capacity and uh, low latency of uh, 5g networks has uh, enabled the uh, forthcoming and uh, industrial revolution. So, for this, this uh, particularly the benefit from the 5G networks uh, uh, ranging from this uh, 3D imaging printing, uh, the uh, advanced healthcare technologies, as well as uh, the uh, uh, the extension of this uh, 5G, particularly for the IoT devices. Uh, these flexible antennas or flexible electronics are uh, applicable for the uh, current technology. So today's uh, my uh, outline is the, the research motivation and objectives in the development of uh, design and develop of uh, different uh, flexible and compact antennas and then the different applications as well as the conclusions I'm going to discuss. So the, this is the, the as per uh, data, the research uh, uh, priority of many national and international the research agencies are given. Uh, uh, actually, this the, the revenue of this flexible uh, devices estimated to be 30 million, 30 billion uh, US dollar in 2017, and three, plus 300 billion dollars in uh, 2028. The uh, survey is uh, saying this is the demand of this uh, flexible antennas or flexible devices. So these are the, some of the examples of flexible and uh, wearable electronics. Uh, so. Uh, these are the different uh, materials for the different applications here given RFID as well as uh, the, uh, the particularly the defense and uh, uh, space applications and then uh, uh, so many uh, flexible market is expected to reach uh, even uh, more than 40 billion revenue by 2023 as per uh, data is saying. And also this uh, particularly here it is given the uh, various applications of flexible uh, electronic devices uh, uh, and systems, it is required the integration of flexible antenna operating in uh, specific uh, frequency bands uh, to provide the wireless uh, connectivity, which is uh, necessary uh, in today information oriented society. Because uh, uh, even we are sitting in uh, one place and uh, listening, people are listening from different places because of this uh, wireless connectivity is uh, 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 a growth of this wireless uh, connectivity. Uh, even this particularly this uh, uh, flexible and uh, for wearable uh, devices for the uh, biomedical applications a lot of applications they, it is applicable using this uh, mix band and uh, uh, ism band as well as uw band particularly for the biomedical applications so apart from this uh, biomedical applications uh, these flexible uh, systems or uh, devices are uh, uh, is shared for the many other uh, uh, federal agencies and uh, as well as industry and academia in developing a flexible antenna for uh, extreme conditions as well as the federal agencies applications like uh, high temperature flexible devices it is including uh, new gas cooled uh, reactors also the nuclear reactors also uh, they are using the flexible uh, electronics for these uh, high temperature applications particularly uh, for the uh, department of energy is uh, requirement of flexible antennas and uh, and also the antenna uh, uh, atoms also with the extreme uh, thermal shock resistance for uh, missile applications as well as the high temperature substrates uh, for uh, hypersonic antennas uh, for the department of defense also for communications as well as even NASA also they are uh, using this uh, uh, small flexible devices uh, particularly for this uh, wireless uh, physiological as well as environmental monitoring 
uh, as well as the system requirement for the uh, uh, department of uh, this uh, homeland uh, security also uh, it is used mainly this uh, materials for flexible antennas so different uh, materials so here it is given this uh, um, different applications of uh, this uh, uh, flexible antennas so here it is given uh, this uh, uh, textile uh, as well as the uh, electronic tags as well as the smart cards and uh, solid state uh, lighting and photovoltaic cells as well as x-ray imaging and uh, the uh, finger print scanners and uh, flexible uh, electronics on uh, uh, fuel all these uh, different uh, applications are used to this flexible electronics so in general the flexible uh, antennas are this uh, it is classified into different uh, four uh, types one is the polymer based antennas and textile based antennas and then microfluidics based antennas then carbon nanotube antennas actually this is also one of the example for this uh, uh, aircraft uh, they are using this uh, for the conformability as well as lightweight and strong it is mounted on the body itself the antennas and the uh, flexible uh, devices particularly because of uh, the main uh, the uniqueness of this uh, materials for this uh, flexible antennas so the materials different materials for different applications uh, application based materials actually it is the conductive materials and substrates are used for this uh, uh, flexible uh, antennas and uh, it is based on their uh, dielectric properties and tolerance uh, and uh, to mechanical uh, deformations as well as this uh, uh, susceptibility uh, for the miniaturization and uh, in terms of the external environmental to uh, in contrast the selection of these conductive materials uh, based on the electrical conductivity and uh, uh, discrete the antenna performance uh, uh, basically that uh, radiation efficiency that is the main uh, uh, properties to uh, select these uh, different uh, particular materials and also this uh, different uh, uh, this uh, fabrication process uh, are involved here uh, it is given for, for the first type is a polymer based antennas so it is a, a, a polyethylene uh, siloxane that is pdms uh, uh, substrates are uh, developed from the for this uh, 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 development of this material uh, basically that is polymer based materials so mainly this uh, uh, fabrication techniques of uh, flexible antennas are uh, the uniqueness uh, it is uh, differ from the other uh, conventional antennas uh, because of the performance of the flexible antennas is uh, determined from this different uh, fabrication uh, techniques that is uh, uh, the, the common uh, fabrication techniques uh, including that uh, bit etching and, uh, and then uh, inject printing and screen printing and other uh, special methods for fabrication of flexible variable antennas and uh, particularly the inject printing you know very well the inject printing technology has emerging emerged as well as uh, alternative to conventional fabrication techniques uh, such as the etching as well as uh, my uh, milling uh, techniques and also in addition uh, to this additive process um, the design is directly transferred to the substrate without any uh, mask as well as this uh, uh, material uh, wastage we can do, do it directly so here it is given this uh, um, how they are preparing that uh, uh, polymer uh, uh, the ceramic powder uh, adding to the uh, uh, polydimethyl celiac slacks in the PDMS and uh, under the vacuum at uh, uh, the high speed temperature that uh, uh, one is that uh, it is uh, making like this uh, flexible material with the PDMS. So this uh, with the PDMS, this patch antenna is uh, flexible patch antenna is uh, uh, fabricated with that uh, one. Actually, this is the basic uh, process of this one. So another is uh, uh, nanotechnology based uh, flexible antennas. So the, the carbon nanotubes are uh, basically uh, used for this material, particularly uh, this uh, ferrite materials as well as the uh, graphene all those materials are used particularly for these flexible antennas and uh, this is the one of the example of uh, carbon nanotube based antenna patch antenna and uh, this is particularly for the high gain beam forming antennas for wireless uh, systems so that is uh, mainly used and uh, uh, another thing is uh, microfluidics liquid uh, uh, antennas so this is uh, based on the different uh, liquid as uh, acting as in metals liquid metals are built in the uh, microfluidic uh, cavities uh, in a uh, 
silicon elastomer so the liquid metal, metal is uh, prevents loss of electrical connectivity when the antenna is uh, deformed so these different liquids are used for uh, for this type of uh, new antennas and uh, so another type is uh, using the textile uh, type of antennas that is a conductive uh, textile material that is coated uh, like a uh, uh, carbon nanotube uh, and uh, gold and then uh, and this type of things are uh, coated with on the uh, textile uh, cloth itself so this is also another uh, this uh, example of this uh, textile antennas so this uh, here it is given some of these uh, designs of uh, the elastic antennas uh, by metallized elastomers using that uh, uh, polymer based uh, antennas are uh, designed so uh, the first one is elastic uh, coplanar wave and uh, this is the normal coplanar wave gate the conventional coplanar wave gate with uh, this s11 is given for uh, uh, this example and uh, here uh, this is for ultra wideband monopole antenna so simple uh, circular patch antenna and uh, uh, these are the radiation properties of the characterization of this antenna and uh, this is the simulation results of the reflection coefficient and uh, so this is the the future uh, of this uh, uh, flexible antennas uh, particularly used in the different uh, uh, applications the modern application like military also they can use as well as this uh, space application then medicine particularly in the medicine it is playing a major role in flexible uh, materials as well as this uh, um, aerospace the uh, terrestrial applications and then uh, uh, satellite also this type of uh, flexible uh, antennas are used for the many applications and uh, see what are the design requirements for this uh, flexible wearable antennas uh, uh, particularly the, the antennas are required lightweight and low profile conformable robust and the, the performance also should be uh, uh, good performance is required so for this what we uh, come to the our objective is uh, here developed with this flexible and compact robust low profile efficient antennas for the performance characterization of antennas for the uh, to bending as well as rolling uh, of this characterization of this flexible antennas and finally it is useful for the some perform the practical applications so these are some of the previous uh, uh, literatures are available for this uh, textile antennas as well as fluidic antennas and paper and based antennas and the liquid crystal uh, polymer antennas so comparatively this is uh, somewhat uh, bulky and uh, the textile antennas and fluidic antennas are limited to basic geometries and also some uh, discontinuity effect is there as well as this fragile as well as complicated process this uh, fluidic antennas then paper based is uh, uh, delicate and uh, permanent folds high loss and disposable and uh, the lcp is the semi flexible and low tensile strength and large designs and 0.25 mm in thickness so so comparatively all those things this uh, flexible uh, uh, antennas are uh, uh, better one so for uh, this developed designs uh, this uh, captain polymide substrates are uh, used so here this uh, the substrate thickness is uh, the somewhat low that is a uh, 50.8 micrometer and uh, high tensile strength that is uh, 165 megapascal and high flexibility at the 50000 as well as very low loss that is uh, the last tangent is 0 0.002 and thermal high thermal stability and uh, the transmission lines are used for this uh, design are uh, coplanar wave feeds and then compact the designs and the inject uh, uh, printing for the fabrication as well as uh, the different frequency bands multiple bands uh, can be applicable for this design so here uh, as we said these are the fabrication methods one is a screen printing then chemical etching and the inject printing so the screen printing is uh, particularly non uniform and limited uh, resolution and waste uh, material uh, wastage is more and uh, the chemical etching method is uh, this is a very lengthy process uh, compared to the inject printing and uh, this uh, by products and multi steps are required for the uh, the procedure is very uh, uh, complicated and low production also then uh, inject is uh, about high resolution and additive process as well as it is very clean and roll to roll is uh, possible for uh, in this inject printing so comparatively inject printing is better than the screen and uh, chemical etching process so here um, we uh, designed one a simple uh, single band printed monopole antenna uh, the size the dimension is 38 by uh, 25 millimeter square so another uh, dimension specifications are given in this 
length and uh, width of uh, so different uh, uh, specifications. So here, okay, the simulated and uh, measured results of uh, this one is getting around 2.4 gigahertz initially we designed, particularly the ISM band uh, we designed for first single band uh, intermonopole antennas. So here, what we did, uh, this is the flexibility test with the VNA we did. So this is the flexible, uh, the, uh, a simple uh, antenna, uh, the single uh, resonant frequency. So for this case, uh, uh, while the uh, flat condition, how it is coming and while painting uh, for the different uh, uh, diameter, one is at uh, 10 millimeter as well as 8 millimeter. So in that, this is the comparison of uh, this uh, particular frequency band, ISM 2.45. So this is, uh, uh, here it is showing um, somewhat, uh, some uh, uh, bandwidth is somewhat uh, uh, high, so for this case. And so this is the radiation pattern of uh, the uh, simulated as well as measured uh, E-plane and uh, H-plane pattern of uh, particular uh, frequency 2.45 for this uh, case. And this is the comparison of uh, this uh, uh, proposed uh, uh, single band as well as dual band textile, paper based, fluidic and flexible OK antenna. So among this, uh, uh, this, this uh, proposed dual band is uh, getting uh, somewhat less uh, size comparatively single as well as this dual band and the thickness also uh, not better so 0 0.05 and uh, the band also it's getting uh, is 2.5 and 5.2 another this for single band is 2.4 gigahertz and uh, the substrate is polymide substrate that is epsilon is 3.4 for these both cases but for this the uh, uh, literature is uh, used uh, was used to play uh, felt fabric that is 1.5 and the paper is uh, 3.4 PDMS is 2.67 and the 3.2 uh, pen flame and the dialectic loss is also uh, this is uh, somewhat less comparatively so this is uh, 0 0.002 for these two, uh, two uh, cases and tensile uh, strength is also uh, high and then uh, flexural strength is also uh, uh, better than other ones. So deformity is uh, low compared to other uh, literatures that are uh, available on the conventional antennas. And then thermal stability as well as fabrication complexity is um, somewhat, it is a printable, using the printable inject printer, we can very easily, we can print this uh, type of uh, flexible antennas with uh, this one. So another example is using the ultra wide band uh, uh, frequency band is also applicable for this, uh, particularly for this wireless uh, body area networks, applicable for these uh, biomedical applications. So here, uh, why this UWP is, uh, the advantage of this one, it is uh, useful for the high data rate applications as well as uh, low power consumption compared to the other one, and then simple uh, hardware configuration. This is the simple tapered uh, monopole uh, antenna is, uh, was designed. So this uh, dimensions are 47 millimeter by 37 millimeter. Other dimensions are given in this. So, particularly these UWB applications are uh, wireless uh, PC peripherals and multimedia connectivity, as well as uh, network access for mobile computing devices, and then uh, wireless body area network. So, this is the comparison of uh, this uh, tapered as well as this straight uh, monopole uh, circular patch antenna. Uh, for this, uh, this is the, the different uh, comparison for this uh, straight as well as this uh, uh, tapered one. So, uh, uh, comparatively, this uh, A6 is uh, the proposed that is uh, a tapered one. So, that is uh, somewhat uh, better uh, resonant frequency is getting. And uh, here also, this is the tapered as well as straight. So, uh, comparatively, this, this is uh, somewhat uh, better compared to this uh, straight. This is the radiation characteristics of uh, this uh, uh, proposed one that is uh, for particularly for this 2.45 as well as uh, 5.2 uh, for this ISM band for this uh, proposed antenna. Uh, so that is here it is given co as well as cross polarization. So uh, mainly that is uh, the, the the XY plane that is particularly is zero uh, degree as well as 90 degree uh, both uh, uh, directions that. Uh, uh, Antenna is uh, tilted and uh, this radiation characterization are measured with uh, this uh, uh, 
uh, two conditions and that is uh, the gain also measured the gain is uh, particular uh, frequency uh, around 2.45 uh, most is getting uh, 2.5 uh, dba and uh, particularly for other case it is getting uh, 5.2 most maximum around 5 dba uh, gain is uh, getting and other uh, cases also like uh, MIMO also we can use uh, this type of uh, uh, antennas particularly for this uh, multi uh, multiple antennas for uh, transmitter is visible to improve the communication performance and also it is limited wireless uh, throughput and power limitations then adding in interferences and noise for all those uh, cases we can uh, develop this MIMO antennas and uh, so here this uh, particularly the reduction of uh, mutual coupling is, is essential parameter to improve the performance of MIMO uh, systems and uh, that uh, current distribution and phase, the input impedance and radiation uh, patterns of uh, the antenna uh, uh, can be used to, to reduce the capacity of uh, MIMO. So here uh, that uh, MNG uh, multi-negative uh, structures are used, uh, proposed for this and then complementary splitting resonator and the EPG defective ground structures all are uh, available in the literature and uh, so here the proposed one is uh, this is uh, actually uh, published in applied compression electromagnetics journal ACES that is uh, uh, so here it is 0.29 lambda uh, this uh, this is uh, uh, by that is filtering resonator is used in this so simple uh, uh, batch with uh, this this is the two by two actually for uh, this uh, uh, demo purpose and uh, so this is the current distribution and uh, far field radiation uh, of uh, this uh, proposed antenna particularly for this this is the radiation pattern of uh, this uh, uh, proposed one and this is the s parameter of uh, this uh, uh, proposed dual band antenna so and uh, this is that uh, the radiation characteristics with this rectangular plot and uh, particularly the main uh, parameter uh, sh should be considered as a specific assessment rate should be uh, reduced that is the main uh, challenge uh, of this uh, wireless uh, body area network particularly for the biomedic applications so you have to uh, so because nowadays the mobile communications uh, mobile also they are uh, the, they, they are not at all following this icnarp uh, guidelines as per icnarp guidelines so 1.6 parts per kilogram of one gram of uh, uh, tissue, the SAR uh, value, uh, but it is uh, not uh, maintained properly. So uh, while designing the antenna for particularly for the biomedic applications, we have to very carefully uh, check the SAR uh, parameter. So this is the telemedicine is uh, useful for this medical information exchange from one side to another via electronic communications to improve uh, patient's health status. So, these telecommunication, telemedicine applications is the uh, to uh, monitor the senior uh, persons as well as uh, post surgery patients' recovery, tracking, and monitoring the body performance of astronauts and uh, athletes, particularly the sports persons, also can be uh, maintained uh, with these uh, telemedicine applications. So, this is the, you know, the example of remote health monitoring uh, system with uh, different. Uh, uh, sensor networks are used for this uh, human uh, body to uh, monitor the EEG, ECG, blood pressure, toxins, and uh, implant, DNA, protein, glucose, posturing, and uh, uh, all uh, these things. Uh, so, with uh, so it is networked with this uh, uh, doctor as well as uh, the control room and uh, the ambulance. So, wherever the, the patient is, uh, can be monitored in the various uh, places uh, uh, through this uh, type of. Uh, and flexible uh, systems because the flexible devices or flexible antennas are uh, very uh, useful for particularly for these biomedical applications very easily uh, uh, these uh, type of devices can be mounted on the uh, arm thighs chest as well as uh, the inside uh, the organs also we can mount this uh, type of uh, devices for the uh, patient monitoring and also this particular antennas in uh, telemedicine these are the antennas are required uh, in uh, planar in nature and compact size is required, conformable and uh, robust and reliable, as well as lightweight, reduced to SCR specific as well and uh, resilient to impedance mis uh, mismatch. And uh, so, normally, uh, these uh, micro strip and printer dipole monofold antennas are the choice for this uh, uh, 
type of antenna shape uh, basically and uh, this is the comparison between micro strip versus uh, printed monopole antenna so micro strip is uh, normally that is narrow band antennas so uh, printable monopole is the wide band antennas normally and uh, so here this uh, uh, reliable wide band antennas with the hemispherical radiation pattern uh, design and isolate the patient's body from undesired retrograde radiation while keeping antennas required uh, characteristics and these are the, uh, the previous works that is um, adding cavity or shielding plane and using absorbers and then uh, single negative uh, materials uh, meta materials and uh, uh, textile Electro electromagnetic band gap structures and then uh, some of the drawbacks are increased uh, the uh, height as well as complicated manufacturing decreased efficiency and large designs and this is the uh, AMC based designs uh, with uh, this uh, um, the artificial magnetic conductor based so here this is a simple um, uh, monopole antenna so simple like the serpentine uh, shaped antenna with uh, uh, this uh, the EBG structure is uh, uh, back side of this antenna uh, to reduce uh, this uh, uh, the radiation effects and uh, this back side the EBG is uh, 64 by 64 uh, millimeter square and uh, this antenna uh, is particularly for uh, this uh, application and this is the um, uh, fabricated prototype so that one was uh, uh, fabric that uh, are measured in this uh, Anakai chamber that uh, S11 as well as this uh, with the with the, as well as without AMC. So uh, with AMC, it is getting somewhat uh, a smooth uh, performance, more smooth curve is getting, and without AMC, is uh, somewhat uh, some uh, difference. Okay, so in the with as well as without. So uh, with this, the somewhat uh, some narrow uh, bandwidth is getting. So and uh, and also, this is the radiation pattern measurements, and uh, so for this uh, proposed one, and uh, this is the regression coefficient, and so this is the, the specific uh, to calculate the specific absorption rate uh, is a standard um, method. The, the standard equations are available. Uh, so sigma of uh, magnitude of e squared divided by rho, and uh, so the SAR value uh, must not exceed the exposure guidelines specified by the Federal Communication Commission as well as ICNA RP. Normally, the maximum allowed SAR uh, as per US as well as Canada is uh, 1.6 watts per uh, kilogram of uh, one gram of tissue. And uh, so, this is the SAR analysis. Um, the antenna is uh, simulated in the numerical human model. Uh, the models are available normally in this uh, simulation uh, software itself and with and without AMC. So here this uh, uh, fabricated uh, that uh, proposed antenna is mounted on the arm of the human uh, because this flexible antennas are uh, more advantage uh, compared to the uh, conventional antennas. It is very easily mount uh, wherever uh, we want and uh, the specific absorption rate are analyzed for this uh, uh, case. So here 125 milliwatts of uh, input power was given and uh, uh, the SAR of value uh, uh, was uh, getting 0.638 watts per kilogram uh, uh, for uh, uh, without uh, AMC expenses 1.8 watts per kilogram which is the above specified limit allowed by the FCC. So this is the uh, given maximum current is given so this is 1.88 and this is uh, uh, 0 0.638 uh, for this with the this AMC. So without AMC, it is getting more uh, SAR value. So with the AMC, that is uh, uh, was reduced. SAR was reduced. And what are the challenges of uh, particularly this uh, flexible systems? The hardware and centric challenges, and uh, the, these are the interoperability and the system devices, system and device level security, and data consistency, and the interference as well as invasion of uh, privacy and data consistency. As well as human uh, centric challenges, so only mainly the cost. The cost should be uh, should be reduced as well as consistent monitoring, consistent uh, performance. Performance also to be maintained, and also power. That is less power. Uh, the power consumption is very uh, important one, and then absorption. The SAR uh, uh, allowable uh, radiation performance, and then signal integrity, and then body is a lossy complex medium for the signal propagation because. 
it's because of this our uh, if you consider our human body uh, bone muscles uh, then tissues as well as uh, skin so definitely the signal uh, loss will be more so that uh, should be improved that is the main challenging uh, task of uh, particularly for the wireless body area network and distortion of radiation pattern close to uh, the human and then the particularly uh, this biomedical application these three frequency bands are uh, used on this uh, mix band so X band is 402 to 405 uh, MHz and ISM band, uh, industrial scientific medicine band, uh, uh, frequency of 433 and 915 as well as 2.45 and 5.8 as well as 5.2. And then UW frequency 3.1 to 10.6. So these three frequency bands are particularly used for the body area network. Uh, and also these are the unlicensed band particularly. Uh, here, this is the table is showing the frequency bands of uh, this ism uh, that mix band ism of different uh, frequencies and the maximum power as well as the uh, where which country is using this particular frequency uh, was uh, tabulated and uh, so these are the other challenges of uh, particularly this uh, wireless body in uh, particularly biocompatible materials are required for the human uh, things because we have to implant uh, particular devices, antenna or uh, the uh, transceivers uh, have to implant in the human body. So the biocompatible uh, materials are required. And then uh, the miniaturization, the very uh, small, compact, tiny devices are uh, uh, very much needed, essential for the implant to the human body. Uh, because nowadays, uh, the build type of uh, transceivers are developed because of this type of uh, uh, technologies, even with the uh, Nano technology, nano, nano uh, based material, nano quarter materials, uh, particularly for these flexible materials, uh, we can achieve the miniaturization as well as uh, we can reduce the power as well as slope, uh, that is the communication link characteristics also uh, used. Here uh, in our uh, research, uh, what we did, uh, uh, we uh, took a uh, pork, you see, live pork, and uh, uh, we uh, took the tissues of uh, live pork because uh, the live pork uh, almost uh, close to the permittivity is close to the human uh, tissues. So that's why we considered uh, here uh, a live pork uh, uh, tissues. Just we uh, took the live pork tissues. Uh, actually, one of my scholar, uh, Dr. Ashok Kumar, he did uh, the the real uh, the research using this live pork uh, tissues and uh, he prepared the uh, the phantom liquid and uh, put all these uh, tissues in that uh, uh, preparation, these chemicals. And then uh, uh, initially we measured the permittivity of uh, these uh, uh, pore tissues. And uh, this is the frequency, uh, uh, particularly for this uh, ISM and uh, this mix band we did. So this is the permittivity of the conductivity uh, we measured for this pore as well as muscle, uh, skin. Uh, all these things we measured. So here, yeah, this uh, the epsilon R uh, for uh, skin is uh, 38, and uh, for uh, the pore, the tissue is uh, pore tissue uh, 48.5, and uh, the skin is 52.7. Similarly, the conductivity also measured. That is, conductivity for pore is uh, uh, 2.06, and muscles are uh, 1.74, and the skin is uh, 1.46. Uh, particularly for this uh, case. So here you can see the ISM band 2.45. You can uh, see this is the uh, thing we uh, measured. We calculated and then uh, the this is the antenna design methodology. So uh, here uh, we considered a Copeland wave as a planar transmission line because of this is the most popular in uh, air environments as well as this is the very easy to uh, mount the antenna for series as well as connections and then uh, 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 the less dispersion compared to the microstrip as well as low conductor loss and low radiation loss compared to the uh, microstrip uh, transmission line. And uh, the, the uh, unique advantages are even particularly wide bandwidth as well as uh, the better impedance matching as well as easy integration with passive and active devices with the monolithic micro integrated circuits also possible in this. Thing. That's why we used uh, that one. So initially, that uh, uh, body area networks uh, uh, enabled antennas uh, uh, developed using this coupling uh, gate with a simple, uh, the inductively coupled uh, antennas uh, was uh, designed. So this is um, uh, to improve the performance and then uh, 
to reduce the SKR, CC web substance rate, uh, all those things. The simulation software normally HFSS or CST can be used. CST itself, this uh, human model is available in the, these things. So here, this is the antenna was developed for particularly for RFID applications. So this is normal, the human 1.8 meter height of uh, the human and as well as uh, the uh, permittivity is epsilon r is at 442 and uh, this uh, the memory also uh, 4.3 uh, gb memory and uh, the simulation time uh, also 18 uh, uh, minutes and uh, so the, the this is the another uh, antenna uw antenna for uh, particularly for this uh, rfid and uh, uh, 870 MHz, the, the low frequency was used for this, and then ISM 2.4 and UWB that is 60 hours uh, analyzed. So, these are the, the mesh as well as memory requirements, simulation time, and then uh, uh, this uh, the uh, processing options. And uh, this is the simulation challenge that is a uh, different. Uh, the materials so mainly the materials uh, property uh, are very important for uh, particularly for this flexible. And as based on the material properties, material uh, selection, the properties can be changed. So properties are uh, not uniform for all the materials. So different uh, material, different properties of uh, this uh, flexible antenna. This is the phantom model and uh, pixel model and antenna, uh, flexible antennas. So here, this is the one uh, example of RFID. So particularly for 870 MHz RFID slant antenna uh, design. And uh, so here, this is uh, low power. That is, uh, so if it is low power, automatically SAR also low, uh, very low, and the no battery is required because of this is very uh, low frequency only. And uh, so here, this uh, impedance is 15 minus 80, 80 ohms, and uh, epsilon R uh, for belt uh, fabric is that is 1.17, and uh, uh, conductivity is 2 to 10 power minus 4. And uh, so this is the effect of uh, uh, bending. So when uh, it is a flat uh, tag. This is the, uh, the S11, and uh, when it was bent, so then uh, these uh, analysis are uh, done for, for this um, radiation characteristics of this one also, or particularly for this E plane and H plane is uh, given. And uh, see, another thing is this is the the effect of uh, S11 for this uh, four uh, comparison was initially only ante antenna only, so uh, then. Another is antenna with the full uh, human model and the antenna and part of the human model and then uh, antenna and work cell model. So for these four cases analyzed, this is the four uh, comparison of this uh, S11 uh, for these four cases. So for first antenna only, it is getting narrow bandwidth and uh, another case is somewhat uh, wider bandwidth compared to that. Uh, but the loss is uh, somewhat more, say loss is less. And then this uh, effect of uh, human body on far field effect. So that is uh, when the antenna is bent, uh, then the antenna on full homogeneous body. So then uh, this is the maximum is 4.2 uh, uh, dBA here, 1.57 dBA of uh, the gain. Uh, that this is the comparison of axial body and homogeneous body. So here also it is 4.5 and this 4.28 uh, is uh, maximum. Uh, again, and uh, so as well as uh, here, uh, this we need a whole body or uh, the semi body is required. So, semi body is also okay, uh, but uh, for this full uh, homogeneous body, uh, also needed for uh, some of uh, the cases. And then, uh, when the partial uh, homogeneous body was considered, and uh, when full homogeneous body was considered, then this. Uh, uh, you can see this the improvement here. You can see this is only one uh, two point four six here uh, four point two five. So this is the maximum uh, gain is getting when considering the full uh, body. And also this is the current distribution of this uh, uh, partial as well as the full body uh, the, with the simulation one. So this is the uh, the radiation characteristics of this uh, partial as well as uh, full uh, body that is a uh, vertical as well as horizontal plane of uh, this uh, uh, four conditions given only say without the body the normal conventional antennas with the full body with the partial body with the voxel model or all those things uh, was compared so in this uh, and uh, observe that so in this uh, smart uh, 
this uh, some homogeneous body, full body is somewhat uh, better. And uh, another thing is RFI read uh, uh, ranges. So how this uh, range is at, at a one meter range uh, was covered in this particular uh, case. Another case is uh, around the 182 meter uh, the reader can cover. Uh, and also the receiver sensitivity is minus uh, 60 uh, ppm. And the SAR value uh, is mainly the antenna uh, affect the body and it is uh, uh, which model is required like the full model or partial or uh, rock cell model or uh, which is standard and the input power, antenna deformation, antenna positioning, all these are the uh, important uh, parameters we have to consider. And uh, the next example was ISM uh, patch antenna. So here you can see this is a truncated uh, patch antenna was uh, used because of to reduce the radiation. They, uh, all four corners are uh, uh, cut and uh, uh, this was uh, designed. So here this is the, the foam is, was used as a permit that uh, substrate and this substrate was uh, for 1.52, the last tangent of foam is 0 0.012 and a 0.4 millimeter textile covering, and the, the last tangent 0 0.015. And so, here the SAR study that is for, for particularly for the multiple antennas, the MIMO as well as to reduce the mutual coupling effects. And so, here you can see this antenna four antennas are positioned around the body, one was. Uh, two was on the two arms and then uh, chest as well as the uh, human head or somewhere like that uh, four places are considered on the top of the human uh, head. So four uh, cases, uh, the four antennas are mounted on the human body. And uh, so the, this is performance was analyzed for S11. Uh, so for this case, you can see the uh, realized gain at the 2.4 GHz, it is uh, around uh, 1.2.4 dBA. Uh, uh, with the considering this uh, human body, uh, with, uh, with the considering all these uh, bone uh, tissues and muscles and uh, skin, all this uh, is uh, high permittivity than this uh, uh, material. So uh, automatically, that uh, uh, signal integrity problem will be there. So signal reduction. So uh, because of that, uh, very difficult to get uh, very high gain. So uh, normally the gain must be very less. One, uh, sometimes it may get even more negative gain also because of this high uh, permittivity of uh, this uh, human uh, parameters. And also here, this is the demo uh, output for uh, this uh, case. So four antennas, so two by uh, two cases. So for this, port one to two, two to one to three, one two to three. Uh, Three to four, so this is a correlation between diversity gain and multiplexing efficiency was analyzed. So here the efficiency fifty-five to sixty-seven percentage. Uh, and also, the next case is was uh, UWB antenna, particularly three to six GHz uh, UWB slat antenna was designed. So this is the uh, slat antenna, uh, particularly, and uh, here this is the. A challenging uh, for the high frequency, particularly this UWB case. So this is normal human, so 1.8 meter uh, height of human, so 6 feet uh, human uh, model is considered. And uh, this is for this case, wavelength is uh, 233 lambda. And uh, so this is the antenna performance. So here, this is the S11 uh, for uh, this case, it is uh, getting uh, 3.52. Uh, 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 6 GHz. So in this case, you can see uh, uh, 3, 4, 5, 5 uh, frequencies, resonant frequencies are getting for this uh, uh, cases. That is, uh, uh, we, including the flat uh, free space and uh, uh, bent uh, on body as well as uh, bent free space. Uh, these three cases are considered. So in that, uh, that is a flat uh, free space. Uh, is getting somewhat a better uh, performance. These are radiation, 3D radiation characteristics of this one. And uh, uh, this is the simulation of this reduced volume for, uh, so initially that uh, with the rectangular box was considered with the human uh, homogeneous model. And uh, uh, 
these rectangular uh, boxes are in different uh, dimensions. One was the 200 by 200 by 200 millimeter cube, and the two, 300 by 400 by 400 millimeter cube, and 600 by 200 by 400 millimeter cube of uh, this uh, rectangular box. With, uh, the memory size are also compared. 18 GB RAM is required, and 52 GB and 72 GB RAM was required for this uh, different uh, dimensions of the rectangular box. In that, if you analyze uh, this S11 for different uh, 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 boxes, you see the box 1, uh, 2, 3, somewhat the, uh, the third box, that is um, uh, somewhat um, a 280 million mesh cells for it. Because if you increase the mesh sizes, mesh cells, the performance uh, will get a better one. So this is the example. So the third one is getting somewhat better performance. And also the simulation of this reduced uh, uh, volume is uh, for this particular case. So here, this radiation characteristics also analyzed. Previously, that S11 was analyzed. So here, this uh, radiation characteristics almost some uh, close uh, validations are done for this, uh, particularly for the other frequency, 5.65 GHz in the EWB. And uh, so this is a, these are the group delay uh, was analyzed for the different uh, time. Uh, in seconds, with the nanoseconds are used with the tree space as well as antenna and body. So, how the changes in the uh, cross correlation peak, the peak is uh, changed for this case. And uh, here, the, with the human model, the group delay, uh, the tree space somewhat less group delay here is more, the group delay was more, less support. So another one is the mixband example. So this is the design for the electrically coupled loop antenna. So here, the rectangular loop we considered uh, for this design. So we designed uh, with, the, uh, with the skin and muscles. So uh, particularly for this uh, 405 um, uh, mixband applications. So the electrically small uh, loop antenna was designed in this case uh, with the uh, skin and muzzle. So, in that muzzle is getting somewhat less uh, uh, loss compared to that uh, uh, skin. And uh, so, these are the, some of these uh, the designed antennas of uh, electrically uh, a small, that is a uh, loop antennas in this case. And uh, so, here this is the another uh, square loop and circular loop uh, also considered for this. Uh, Design. So this is the comparison of uh, the circular spire and uh, uh, with the muscles and uh, three space was considered. So in this case, uh, the circular uh, uh, electrically uh, circular uh, loop antenna. So in that, uh, the, this, this is getting somewhat better. Even uh, if we compare to that, uh, the, the electrically uh, is, that loop antenna is muscles somewhat getting wider bandwidth. This. Uh, this blue color is showing wider bandwidth, but the loss is somewhat uh, more. But this uh, uh, circularly is LA in a free space, it is uh, uh, loss is less loss and uh, somewhat uh, narrow bandwidth compared to the previous case. And uh, so, this is the uh, transmission coefficient of uh, this uh, two cases. The one diameter was increased to two and uh, three centimeter, particularly for this 405 megahertz. And in this uh, case is a uh, three. Uh, if it is more uh, dia, that is uh, minus uh, uh, around uh, 18, uh, 17 point five. And uh, for uh, the first case, uh, the two very less diameter of uh, uh, thickness that is uh, around minus eleven uh, dB. And then uh, for the other case, is uh, the ECLA that is a uh, uh, but between the circular as well as this uh, uh, distance, various distances, uh, it is getting uh, some uh, differences at uh, 405. And uh, for this case, uh, circularly, this area, uh, that, uh, that was kept in the chest as well as head as well as free space uh, was compared. So, in that uh, free space, uh, it is getting somewhat uh, not a uh, good result. Uh, uh, circularly, uh, electrically coupled uh, loop antenna in chest is getting somewhat better, wider bandwidth and less loss compared to other two cases. And uh, the, the, with the head, it is getting very narrow bandwidth, that is a pencil beam of uh, uh, structures are uh, getting. So, this is the, the fabrication process, uh, make it uh, the different uh, chemicals and uh, the chemical, we have to, uh, <coughs> this is simple copper, uh, 
uh, uh, wire that is a uh, loop uh, structure with the uh, with the connector was uh, connected in this case for this particularly for the human body applications. So this was like a mixed band application four not five megahertz. And, uh, so in this case, ECLA uh, when inside model and free space was considered. So inside model it is getting uh, minus sixteen dB. For uh, this case, minus fourteen dB at the four not five. So somewhat uh, the free space uh, is somewhat better. And uh, see the other examples. So this. Uh, for particular for this ISM band, so here X-shaped monopole antenna we designed. Uh, so in that, uh, so the dimensions are very uh, less. 13 millimeter by 8 millimeter antenna was uh, uh, designed. Also, this uh, work was we published in Telemedicine Health uh, uh, Journal. And uh, so here, this is the equivalent circuit of this uh, X monopole uh, antenna. So we consider in this case. Uh, you can see these are the uh, input impedance as well as suppression coefficient, DSW, the return loss of uh, this one was uh, um, analyzed. So, this is the comparison of this uh, return loss uh, with the, uh, the analysis, theoretical analysis of the simulation we did. Theoretical analysis uh, it is getting minus 22 uh, dB, and for uh, this uh, simulation it is getting minus 25 dB at uh, 2.45 GHz. Uh, this is a fabricated uh, device, so uh, this X-shaped uh, monopole antenna, and uh, so this is the preparation of this uh, phantom liquid. That uh, uh, one was in the muzzle, uh, skin, and the fat phantom liquid we prepared, uh, and then uh, the skin tissue phantom uh, liquid that is uh, without that uh, fat, and uh, only we can see skin tissue phantom. Here, the muscle also considered muscle and fat phantom liquid was considered in this case. So, with that uh, preparation, we kept the antenna, we uh, proposed antenna, we kept it and uh, we measured uh, the refreshment coefficient as well as uh, uh, the antenna radiation characteristics we uh, measured. This setup we measured at uh, QSAT coaching, uh, we measured. We prepared all these uh, liquids, phantom liquids, and uh, uh, with the pork uh, tissue, uh, we uh, uh, to QSAT and uh, measured. And uh, so this is the comparison of the simulation of uh, with the pork tissue and then human body phantom liquid. Then this uh, the human body phantom liquid, the equivalent to the human body the liquids. Uh, what are the liquids? The same uh, thing we prepared with the. The chemical uh, equal that uh, chemical uh, preparation equal to the human body, and then it uh, took the both tissue, and then uh, uh, we compared all uh, this thing with the simulation. Also, we did uh, thing, and then we compared uh, all those things. So here it is getting um, a human body that is about a wider bandwidth compared to the other two cases. And uh, so this is the VSWR is getting uh, almost this closely. Uh, Matching that is maintaining 1.5 VSWR, so reduced 1.5 VSWR bandwidth. And then, uh, so this is the uh, radiation characteristics of uh, E plane as well as uh, H plane for this uh, uh, co polarization as well as cross section polarization. And then, this is the uh, antenna gain. So, with the phantom is minus 15 dB and without the phantom is minus 0.5 dBi. And uh, so, this is the current distribution of X shaped monopole antenna. So, it is getting. Uh, then, this is the comparison of uh, this uh, measured and simulated results of X shaped monopole antenna. So, here uh, the return loss uh, is minus 30 dB, simulated measured is uh, minus 20 dB. Uh, particularly for ASM band 2.45, VSW 1.5, 1.6, antenna gain minus 15, minus 17 dBA, and the bandwidth uh, was 160 MHz and 180 MHz, antenna efficiency 0.3 percentage. Because of uh, consideration of all these uh, things, the other one was uh, UWB. So, UWB is particularly used for the biomedical applications. So, mainly because of the low power consumption, high data rate, and low detection, high immunity to uh, multiple path the carrying effects, the ability to penetrate uh, through pulse also uh, because of the high data rate and faster than Bluetooth 
uh, and Wi-Fi and data rate of 450 megabits per second instead of uh, 1 uh, Mbps. And uh, so this is the comparison of uh, uh, Zigbee, Bluetooth, TSM, GPRS and uh, EMTS and uh, IWI 802.11B, 11G, 802.11A. This, this range is uh, UWB. So particularly this is for video and multi-channel video applications, uh, the UWB channel uh, is applicable. So this ultra wideband is also uh, known as very short uh, pace band pulses. Uh, and also it is nanosecond that exist all frequency in, uh, simultaneously. And uh, particularly the UWB frequency range covers from 3.1 to 10.6 GHz. And also it is the bandwidth is very uh, greater than 50 megahertz and uh, so this is the example so here you can see this is 3.1 to 10.6 uh, range of uh, this entire range is the ITB standards are covering 802.11a that is uh, uh, <coughs> and the, the other thing is 5.725 and 5.825 this 100 megahertz uh, range also that is uh, also one uh, frequency band is allotted for uh, particularly for this case here uh, yeah, these are the applications of UWV that is mainly for DVD content to, to uh, high definition televisions and uh, wirelessly synchronous applications, clocks, and then connect uh, high data rate peripherals and move huge files between digital cameras and uh, uh, camcorders and uh, computers and military applications. Uh, because of it is penetrating through walls uh, and radar applications, all uh, these things. And also, UWV is defined as the uh, uh, the system it is required at a very high bandwidth, so it is greater than uh, 500 megahertz was uh, possible. And the UWV signals are pulsed based, pulse based waveforms comp compressed in time instead of simultaneous sine shadow waveforms compressed in frequency. And this is the example of this UWV uh, uh, this time domain and behavior as well as frequency domain behavior of a particular for this case uh, 3.1 uh, as per FCC Federal Communication Commission, and uh, this is the ultra wide band. This is the narrow wide band communication, and uh, narrow band communication that is a uh, frequency uh, based analysis. And uh, so, this is the sum of the monopole antennas, uh, particularly at uh, 30 millimeter by 40 millimeter uh, range. And uh, the, this frequency range is about 3.17 GHz to 10.56 GHz. Channel spacing 520 MHz and simple uh, chip rate was 3.2 MHz and the sub carrier spacing 4.125 MHz and other uh, things and the required specifications it is particularly for omnidirectional and small in uh, size as well as low uh, in cost and VSWR uh, also uh, it is getting less than 2 and uh, gain less than 5 dB and uh, uh, relatively constant impedance matching. And so this is the antennas used for the body area networks, uh, particularly uh, biconical antennas and uh, uh, the uh, low profile uh, uh, dual band antennas and uh, this uh, all uh, type of antennas are developed particularly for this uh, human body. So we can, uh, but particularly this type of this uh, flexible materials can be very easily uh, moved on the uh, human body for the uh, measurement. So here, this is the the return loss uh, measurement for this uh, for different uh, circular as well as uh, dish, uh, dashed as well as line uh, cases. And uh, so this is the another uh, one is uh, particularly the button shaped antenna. So button shaped antenna, uh, uh, they, they, they really nowadays uh, very uh, useful for the making. Uh, most of the applications. So this is with the Anaga chamber, this button shaped antennas are uh, entered. So the, the summary of uh, this uh, presentation, so the development of uh, this uh, flexible compact and wide band antennas uh, and also particularly uh, three frequency bands are uh, covered, one was uh, mixed band and the ISM as well as UW frequency bands. And also the mutual coupling between the radiation element and uh, that was uh, decreased using the uh, <coughs> splitting resonators uh, and, and also that uh, uh, the horizontally which results a fully planar and flexible low profile uh, systems and also as a, a reduction of uh, 11.5 dB and also that uh, 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 
the, the second application is particularly the AMC uh, materials. So artificial magnetic uh, conductors were used to, for the to achieve the uh, low uh, specific assertion rate for the particular the wearable television applications and the uh, uh, SAR values are reduced uh, to 66 percentage and also the uh, AMC eliminates the impedance mismatch caused by the human tissue pro uh, proximities. Uh, <coughs> uh, so, apart from this, this um, the modern requirements, uh, particularly actually the uh, fabrication, I'll be the printing technologies, uh, particularly the inject printing as well as this uh, uh, 3D printing, all uh, these are all the unique, unique uh, features of this uh, uh, flexible antennas. Mainly, um, yes, nowadays the 3D printing that was uh, that is a very nice uh, thing, and also the screen printing also particularly for this uh, flexible materials, and also this uh, 3D printing uh, it is a very attractive printing uh, uh, fabrication techniques for this uh, particularly for this uh, uh, flexible antennas. That uh, 3D uh, additive 3D printing techniques uh, is. Uh, uh, mainly for this uh, gaining popularity with the uh, uh, commercial ap ap applications of uh, printing materials and uh, processing methods and also it is uh, the 3d printing is uh, uh, it is uh, in-house uh, possible as well as fast fabrication of uh, uh, this uh, 3d structures using this 3d printing method uh, for even with the various materials new materials because of the flexible antennas New materials are uh, also uh, used to the uh, printing of uh, new uh, designs with the new materials and also this, the flexibility to realize complex uh, 3D shapes for the bulk materials and the 3D printing of uh, flexible materials like uh, these type of polymers as well as metals as well as ceramics and uh, even some of the biological tissues also is easy to make it attractive for antenna designs. And uh, the, particularly the polymers uh, uh, such as uh, thermo uh, sets as well as uh, thermoplastics are also uh, used as a 3D printing materials for uh, flexible antenna applications. And then the common printing uh, techniques of polymers like uh, uh, fused deposition uh, modeling, that is uh, particularly that uh, uh, stereolithography and uh, direct light processing, uh, DLP as well as uh, material testing also used for this uh, flexible uh, antenna using this 3D printing. And also the most common 3D printing technology is uh, FPM, that is the uh, filament is uh, fed through the uh, extrusion, uh, fed in the printer of the uh, heated nozzle devices at the filament uh, melting it. So this uh, particular the 3D, uh, this, uh, the 3D printer, uh, then uh, the uh, melted material as a uh, the little down to this process uh, is uh, most applicable for this uh, new applications. So that's why the 3D printing is um, uh, mostly uh, preferable for particularly for this uh, uh, flexible antennas. But here um, uh, we, we used the uh, uh, some cases three that uh, inject printing and screen printing we used. Uh, for our, some of our uh, uh, antenna development, design and development. And also this particularly, this uh, inject printing uh, techniques was uh, uh, mainly useful for the wearable, flexible wearable antennas. And uh, the, even in that also, the antenna performance was uh, getting um, uh, better even uh, for the, some of the hard of ID uh, for uh, this uh, FCC, Federal Communication Commission, uh, based uh, for bands, uh, uh, particularly that uh, 9 uh, something, 902 to 928 uh, uh, megahertz, that is also used uh, for this uh, uh, 3D uh, printing. And also, some of uh, these, uh, the, some of the radiators of the antenna was. Uh, uh, even even uh, press painted some or sometimes the coated uh, stretchable uh, silver conductive um, uh, coated materials are uh, also used for the flexible antennas and also this antenna wireless performance under flat as well as the bending conditions uh, uh, should be uh, satisfactory in order to see the performance and also the specific assortment rate uh, 
that is also very important uh, while simulations as well as to validate uh, for the flexible durable antennas applications and also the antenna uh, the impedance uh, bandwidth of the particularly that uh, uh, some uh, good band impedance matching that is in, in some time per hours in the uh, 2.4 2.4 years and then all this peak uh, gain also at uh, 2.45 we have to uh, take care and also uh, uh, we uh, discussed that the cbw uh, transition line the feeding structure was uh, uh, also uh, it's possible to fabricate using this uh, uh, 3d printer and also this uh, uh, ela that is uh, uh, that material and the abs all these uh, new materials also uh, possible for this uh, flexible uh, structures and also this flexible structures are very small size and lightweight and uh, this th type of 3d flexible uh, miniaturized uh, this uh, even inverted fr antenna for uh, wearable applications also uh, possible uh, for the, some of the new researchers they can uh, try uh, this uh, uh, inverted f antenna using these flexible materials and also this uh, uh, galangston liquid metals also uh, sometimes we can use to realize the radiating uh, element and uh, uh, flexible plastic also to realize the dielectric substrate even for this uh, fpm printing uh, process and also the electro uh, textile copper uh, conductors also can be used for the antenna uh, for the uh, different applications and also the performance of the antenna in several uh, bending conditions and bending bend configurations and uh, the presence of the human body uh, also we have to consider uh, using this type of 3d structures so uh, the 3d is most uh, uh, unique uh, features compared to the other printing methods fabrication methods so uh, compared to the other uh, the chemical uh, chain and the screen printing and the inject printing so 3d printing is the most preferable method for fabrication methods for this flexible antennas so uh, so with, with this uh, so i want to uh, conclude my uh, talk and uh, so finally i want to acknowledge to my uh, heartfelt thanks to the stalwart of uh, professor the microwave uh, the father of microwave i can say the father of microwave of uh, india professor raghavan sir also my uh, research scholar uh, dr s ashok kumar he uh, designed uh, more uh, this flexible uh, wearable antenna applications he designed and uh, thanks uh, to them and some of the photographs so this was with uh, professor balanis with uh, one of the conference uh, we met in india goa and uh, so, so i thank you so uh, any queries thank you sir okay sir I am not uh, visible that uh, chat box, sir. Uh, sir, please go to the uh, WebEx page. At the bottom in your Google, no, no, sir. At the bottom, see if there are two tabs. Just close this. Okay, close. Okay. Uh, no, no. Sir, I'll read out the queries. There are. I have received two questions. First is kindly explain the need of BSRR again in brief. What? Kindly explain the need of BSRR in brief. Yeah. 
See, mainly that uh, BSRR uh, uh, for the MIMO case only used BSRR uh, to uh, reduce the mutual coupling effect uh, for the MIMO antenna applications. That's why there we used the BSRR particularly for the reduction of uh, coupling effect only. Yeah, uh, ne next question. One second. Oh, yes, sir. The question is while designing the miniaturized monopole antenna, the ground will be too small. I think uh, and the connector should be soldered from measurements. The soldering impact will be on the ground. Is there any possible solution so that the, uh, this does not affect the antenna gain further? No, actually, uh, for uh, flexible antennas, we cannot uh, uh, shoulder this, this, this thing because we have to um, print actually. Because this is a printing only, so we have to print the with that uh, flexible material. So uh, just we have to print it and we have to mount the probe actually. So no need of uh, that one. So that is conventional antennas only we have to solder all those things. So for flexible that one was not needed. Uh, sir, another is can you suggest any paper for measuring dielectric constant? Measuring dielectric constant, uh, a lot of papers are available. So even uh, let see some of the dielectric measurement, uh, some of the papers available even in uh, 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 India, in Ahmedabad, on SSL, uh, yeah, one company is there. So they are, uh, they are measuring this dielectric uh, constant also. That measurement setup is available in Ahmedabad as well. Uh, so another question is why M band is called unlicensed band? M, what? M band? So it is written like this by M band. M B A N is called unlicensed band. M B A N band. No, actually, that frequency band, particularly ISM, not uh, that one. ISM band was not licensed for the commercial applications. So that's why it is unlicensed by the Federal Communication Commission. Uh, so that's why it is unlicensed one. That is uh, as per standards only. That is the uh, guidelines, as per guidelines given. So that's why we are uh, considering that is uh, unlicensed ban. It is not licensed to anyone. So it is open to all. So anybody can use that uh, particular frequency ban. So that is that's why it was called unlicensed ban. Uh, so can we use this concept in the field of BCI? For accepting signals from brain. Which concept? This uh, flexible antennas uh, can be used for ECI. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Dilip Kumar, yes, sir, he is written here. Yes. Uh -huh. for, for measurement of ECG or what? Which one? Uh, Dilip, sir, please write down on the ECG. Easy. Yeah, it is possible, yeah, very much possible. So, uh, because see, this uh, type of flexible antennas can be uh, mounted even our uh, human body, and uh, very easily we can be. See, what is the uh, conventional methods? They are using the wireless sensor networks. So, sensors are sensor nodes are uh, uh, placed on the human body, and they are measuring this uh, human uh, ECG, all those things. So instead of this, uh, this type of the antennas also can be uh, act as a sensor. So instead of that, we can use these flexible antennas as a sensor uh, node to the human body and we can uh, measure the ECG also. Okay. 
Yes, next. Uh, sir, in the same question, he is asking which sensor? Which sensor? See, yes, sir. antenna also acting as a sensor only. So, antenna can be uh, possible to act as a sensor. It's conventional already wireless sensor networks are there. So, instead of that, we can use this type of antennas as a sensor net sensors. Okay, sir. Okay. Fine. And the participant who are having any issue in regard to attendance, please connect with Balvinder, sir. You will not get the attendance link on your mail IDs, please. You will get the link only in the chat boxes or whatsoever platform we are using. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, uh, sir, is there uh, Raghavan sir, uh, Professor Patnaik sir, is there? Oh. Okay, then okay. Yes, sir is present. Uh, sir can uh, say some uh, feedback about my lecture. So that's why I'm asking. Not there. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful opportunity, sir. Very thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.